I wanted to do a video on motivation when you're teaching yourself to code because it's a struggle, it's a journey that I've been on and I know how difficult it can be. And I want to reveal something that I've not really revealed on this channel before and I don't even tell a lot of people in my life but I struggle with a condition called chronic fatigue syndrome which is very similar to long COVID if you've heard of that, obviously that's been in the news a lot lately. Now, I decided last year that I wanted to switch my career up and I wanted to become a developer. And a big, big reason in that is that I wanted to eventually work remotely, work from home or wherever I want to be, so that I have more flexibility and more control over my day because of the chronic fatigue. And, you know, I'm getting there. So it's been a really good thing for me. But I know how difficult this journey can be, especially if you've got some kind of health condition that makes it even harder. Last year, I decided to finally start my journey and I taught myself to code over eight months and then at the end of it, I landed a job. I'm working that job now. So here are some of my thoughts and kind of little hacks that I used to get, get through it, get to the end of it and get a job. Hopefully they'll help you too. So my first point, is to clearly define your goal and to write it down. I've used this in so many areas of my life, not just learning to code. I know it works. It can get kind of mystical and, and spiritual in a way, but it just creates it as this thing that's outside of yourself. And it kind of draws you towards it. It's this target that you're aiming for. I think it's kind of vital when you're teaching yourself to code to define exactly what you want out of this whole journey. So for me, I said that I wanted to land a job, preferably within a year, because that's when my money, my savings were going to run out. I wanted a job as a developer in my local area. And so on those days, when I came down here to my dining room table, and I really didn't feel like coding or I was struggling with my energy, my mental energy or my mood, that was there. It was a thing that wasn't moving. And the only thing that I could do is change what I was doing and move towards it. All you need to do is every day, just do a little bit and keep consistent with it. And don't worry about the big picture because it's like any worries of the big picture you've put into that goal. And with the consistency and just doing bit by bit, day by day, you will gradually move towards the goal and eventually, hopefully, you'll get there. You know, I'm sure we've all heard those stories from Olympic athletes or business people who've done well. Uh, Jim Carrey, I think he famously used this technique. I just think it's really important. So if, if you're on this journey and you haven't already clearly defined your goal and exactly what you want out of this, then I think you need to do that. It's, it's the most important thing you could do maybe and, and write it down. And um, I think that's really gonna help you. Now, point number two is all about developing the right mindset and then the right habits. Basically, when you're on this journey and you're teaching yourself, the book stops with you. There's no one else pushing you on until we get to point number four in this video. But mainly, it's all down to you and so you have to develop the mindset that you're not gonna take any excuses when it comes to this. And you're not gonna have a day off just because you perhaps don't want to or it's tough or whatever. Again, I'll speak about a point later on which is gonna balance this out. I think what can help with this is to know that at the start, it's always gonna be the hardest. Um, I read some research that said it takes 66 days for a habit to become natural for human beings. So I think the, the, the first couple of months are always gonna be the worst. It's kind of painful, isn't it? When we, we're trying to kind of rewire our brain or shove this knowledge in there. But I think always bear in mind that the more you do it, the easier it's gonna become. So I think when, once you get past that two month mark, it's almost like it's become this routine for you and your body and your mind is expecting it. So for me, luckily I had savings and so I could come down here every day and coding and learning to code was the focus of my day. I know not everyone's that lucky to be in that kind of position. Maybe you've got to study 
on evenings or weekends, but you have to develop a routine that works for you and try and stick to it because it's just going to take you much longer if you're just quite scatterbrained and haphazard with it. For me, it was generally five days a week, at least four hours, sometimes a lot more. And like I say, I just was consistent with it. Even on the days I wasn't feeling great, I tried to get a bit done to just keep me moving forward. Even if it was just a small step that day, just keep moving forward towards my goal, which I defined in step one. Now, my third point is to keep things as fun as possible. It can be really dry learning to code, but I don't think it has to be. The great thing about teaching yourself to code is that you are in control of the curriculum. You've got no teacher telling you what you have to learn, like being back in school. This is your journey and you get to choose exactly what you want to learn. So I made sure to pick frameworks and languages that inspired me. And when I had the opportunity to put something fun into the projects I was working on, I did it. For example, the first real website that I put together, I made it about Star Wars. I made it about all the characters from Jabba's Palace and I learned a lot about web development and I learned a lot about Star Wars during that process, but it was fun. And when I made a JavaScript game, I decided to make it about um, guessing a dog breed from a photo. I don't even like dogs that much, but it, it was fun. You know, it was fun looking at all the, the funny photos of the dogs while doing it. So yeah, just remember that if, if you're struggling with it because you're feeling like it's all dry and boring, I don't think it has to be that way. And maybe you need to tweak a few things so that it does become fun for you because there's research that shows when something's fun, we learn more, we learn faster. So yeah, try that. And point number four, which I kind of mentioned a bit earlier, is to connect with others. I think this is quite important and it's really the main reason why I started my TikTok and my YouTube channels, which have kind of become this now, which I'm really enjoying, but I was trying in some way to connect with people around the world who were on the same journey as me or much further ahead because I knew they could help me and they could help push me along. On my channels, you know, people ended up watching the videos and following and commenting and messaging. And it was through those things that I actually made big steps forward. On my journey. For example, someone on TikTok suggested that I put my CV up on a website called CV Library, and that was actually the website that led to me getting a job. I had a couple of people get in touch and say they'd like to mentor me, which was just great. And I took one guy up on the offer, and yeah, he kind of gently nudged me along and gave me tips and ideas. I ended up studying React and Next.js because that's what he recommended. And I'm sure you guys can find the same thing. Maybe you, maybe you want to start your own channel on social media. It really helped and worked for me. Or maybe you just want to find a Discord or a Facebook group or a subreddit. Just make sure you're connecting with others and not taking this journey all on your own because it can be lonely. And I think the more lonely it is, it's just going to be harder for you. And then of course, there are in real life meetups in your area or in most areas, that, that you can go and meet people in person if that's what you want to do. And I'm sure that will help bring you along. And it will also come in handy when you're talking about networking and actually wanting to find a job at the end of this. You should also consider, if you're not already, working on some kind of collaborative project with these other people. You know, there are so many people at the moment wanting to learn coding, programming, developing, Reach out to someone online or a friend and start a joint project together because I think we can all probably remember back in school, it was more fun to work on group projects and we all motivate each other in that way and we all teach each other and bring new ideas to the process. So maybe you could work on a website together, an app, an API. I think it's just gonna be more fun and motivating for you when you've got people with you. And then point number five, which kind of balances out point number two from earlier. Of course, we do need to have that no excuses mindset, but we don't want to be too hard on ourselves to the point where we're getting down or burnt out. It is really important to be aware of how we're talking to ourselves 
and just talk to ourselves with compassion and look at what we're doing in a positive light. Don't look at what you don't know, what you haven't done yet and how overwhelming all of this is going to be. We have to be celebrating our wins. So there's a lot of overlap here with, you know, generally just maintaining your mental health. But when you're on a journey like this, I do think it's it's important to be thinking about all this stuff and making sure you're in the best shape you can be. It's really easy to come to all this, especially at the start, and think, wow, I know nothing, and there are all these clever people that know so much more than me, but I don't think that's a very useful way to approach it. You know, I've been there. Yeah, you start off as a noob, of course, but soon you're developing skills within weeks that employers will be glad to have in their company. It's such a great skill to have, and it's really great that you want to be on this journey, don't get intimidated by the whole industry and all this stuff that you don't know because to be honest everyone within it wants you to learn and they want to bring you on and they want to help you i found everyone has just been so positive you know people online that helped me and then the company that i've i've been employed at they just want to help me and help me grow and support me as a person and it's the most fulfilling, the best job I've ever had. I'm so glad I made the switch. And I just hope that if you're on this journey, maybe you're feeling a bit discouraged. Think about these five points which I've spoken about. And yeah, I think you can perhaps turn it around. So let me know what you think in the comments. If you've got any tips that helped you on your, your journey, then definitely leave them below. It'd be interesting for me and it might help some other people. So thanks for watching the video. If you got any value out of it or enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate the thumbs up and a subscribe because I'm planning to do much more videos on all these kinds of subjects. Thanks to anyone who's watched or subscribed so far. And if you're on this journey, just keep going. I really hope you can get there to, to your goal, whatever it might be, make sure you've written it down. And um, yeah, I'll speak to you soon.